here coming to the point the question one is gender we will be having measurement scales three type of measurement scales will be there scale ordinal and nominal scale data is a continuous data for example the number of marks a student gets in a subject is a scale data it will be from 0 to 100 any marks he can get he can get 70 he can get 80 he can get 20 is a scale data ordinal data data which has an order like Likert scale is an order strongly disagree to strongly agree it is an order so when you have this sort of variable it is an order but when you talk about or when we discuss about gender gender male and female is a nominal data because male and female is not having any order right if you come for income group this is an ordinal you can maintain this as an ordinal because you have a range is there right even you can specify this as an ordinal not a problem but when you come for shampoo product um, brand it is a nominal and when you come for colors question number five white pink these are nominal data they are nominal data they don't have any order right but when you talk about data like Likert scale it is ordinal because it's having an order so this information need to be entered in this case so we say gender is nominal data age group is an ordinal monthly income is an ordinal data shampoo brand is nominal color is nominal fragrance is nominal and these all are ordinal data okay that's fine now these are the important things which need to be entered basing on the questionnaire i have started from entering the name the point here when you enter name always it should be character like q1 should not be like one q and specify the type of the data select the label enter the values specify it has a missing value enter as missing values and the important point here is measurement go to a data see what type of data it is whether it is a nominal data whether it is an ordinal data or whether it is a scale data i don't have any scale data because if income is an open-ended then i would have a scale data but i don't have a scale data as of uh, now in the questionnaire so I don't have the provision to enter um, the questionnaire data so this is a data measurement I have entered once my variable view is completed now I'm going to click the button save once I click the button save system specifies where I need to save the data okay I want to save it as shampoo data right and you can see here SPSS saves the file as dot SAV dot SAV system is going to save it as dot SAV and save it now you can see here shampoo data dot SAV now my variable view is completed once a variable view is completed I can go to data view here basing on the questionnaire the respondents data i'll enter the data here i'll show the first data which i'm going to enter Two. 
okay this is the string dog shampoo just I, i'm assuming and entering the data Okay, in this way, I'm going to enter all the data. Okay, now this is the first data which I have entered, first respondent data. Now, if I have 100 respondent data, I'm going to slowly enter the data similar like an Excel data. We go on entering numbers only for question four, which is a variable name, which is a string data, I need to enter variable name. Apart from this, I'm going to enter all the data. You can see I got uh, here small dot. Uh, a dot is a missing data. System will consider it is missing from the data entry person. If you enter triple line, like in our case, it is not system missing, but respondent have missed the data. So this important difference need to be understood when we enter the data. So neatly all 100 sample size I have, 100 respondent data I have, I need to enter all 100 respondent data here. Once I enter, I need to press the button save. Now my data is saved and you can see on the screen, this is my data, shampoo, data okay this is the data which I have now I'll show you the data which I have entered you can see the complete data I have entered and here I'm seeing the values see I can just click like this I have always all the numbers right okay these are all the numbers I have here if I remove it okay this is called toggling between 1 and a value labels okay done this is the data view this is the variable view save the data fine okay variable view this is the variable view and this is the data view the total data i have here something wrong enter here they have entered three here but actually i don't know what is the number <clears throat> should have patience and enter the data carefully so that mistakes will not happen when we enter the data now what i what we discussed in this video is i started with sps's screens i discussed first about variable view and i have explained how to enter the names, how to enter the type of data, labels and values, missing values, measurements. And later I have explained how to enter the data into SPSS. Okay. So this is a basic video and further I'll discuss if already data is there in Excel sheet ready. Like this, I have an Excel sheet where I have the data ready and directly from Excel, I can import into SPSS. Okay. In my further videos, I'll discuss about how to import data from Excel to SPSS. Thank you.